Okay guys, so this is the artwork that I'm working on. Uh, today is February 26 and I'm just working on this artwork for a background for a 2D game that we are building in our uh, team in home team game dev. And right now, this is just what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just trying to go and work on creating uh, some uh, leaves or grasses, mud and some uh, reflections of water for a swamp type kind of uh, background for the unity game that we're building and I'm still trying to experiment I'm also pretty new with um, unity in terms of 2d game development and uh, especially creating some of the assets and this is just how I'm doing this I'm just documenting it so at least uh, in the near future I'll be able to f uh, see how uh, I did some works that I'm currently working at pr uh, presently <laughs> so in the future I have some um, references for old projects that I have made so far and this is the so you can see here I'm currently working on this and I just did some testing and if we try to play this you'll see that uh, we have that kind of uh, background I'm still thinking if we can try to have a uh, foreground and a background like this one uh, you will see there's some sort of background trees that I have inserted I just did a duplication of the trees here so I'll be creating more trees that will be having some sort of visual artwork I'm going to do some research on how to do that but so far I'm currently working on this set of on this set of uh, water reflection I can try to improve on it uh, somehow um, but this is how I did that water reflection I just created a layer in Jim I'm using Jim by the way it's an open source software from where you can go and try to create uh, photo edit photo edit some rasterized images that you're working on and you can also create uh, your own very own uh, game assets using that uh, software let's go try and create some sort of tree shadow here
so that's one tree from the background uh, spot I think we were able to create a shadow of a tree from afar let's go to try to duplicate this and then let's have some budge let's try to flip it uh horizontal uh, let's first set the layer to crop the content then flip it right then let's add some more of this first this will be some tricks that we can try to reduplicate or we can add some more branches so this there will be a little bit of differences layer to image size let's have some bit of branches that will be making it a little bit different from the other trees I'm thinking this is going to be a tree that is a bit far from the so this is a bit close right and this one these trees will be a bit far from the viewer so we can have let's go add some river flow I'm just adding some um, leaves dark leaves 